Hello and welcome to the tutorial of Neo4g. Neo4g is a new way of representing the database. It is the world's leading graphical database. It represents mainly in the form of nodes and the relationships such as nodes. So in this tutorial, we'll be discussing how to set up the Neo4g in Eclipse. First, we need to have Eclipse, which is the prerequisite. So any version is the fine, but preferred is the latest version. So to download Eclipse, we need to go to Google and say download Eclipse because I've already searched for it. It showed it, it showed the list for me download Eclipse. And then I go to the Eclipse downloads version and then I would be downloading Eclipse IDE for the Java EE developers. That is the version that I would prefer because I'll be working on Spring and Hibernate and different versions as well. So based on your operating system, that is Windows or Linux or Mac, you'll be downloading the uh, respective ones. Mine is a Windows version and that would be a 64-bit. I would click on Windows and 64-bit. Now I'll be redirected to the Eclipse Downloads version. So here is the download Eclipse. G Juno Win32 and 86 is the latest version of Eclipse. So you can click this and download it. I have, down, I have downloaded it already, but I do have an, uh, another version of Eclipse that is the Helio. As I said, you can use any of it. Okay, and coming to the workspace of the Eclipse, um, you can create your own workspace. I have created C, Users, My Username, and then the Neo4G, because I'll be creating Neo4G, uh, Neo4G projects. And I won't be selecting this use this as the default and do not ask again because I would be uh, creating another workspaces. I would click OK and then Eclipse would be loading the workbench. Because this is an empty workbench, there won't be any projects in it. And then I will minimize. So to uh, plug in Neo4G into Eclipse, I would click this new download Neo4G download version now and then because I've already done it to save time, it would install this Neo4G community, the latest version that is available right there. Okay, and then I would install Neo Eclipse. Neo Eclipse is used to view the graphs. So to download Neo Eclipse, I would go to download. Here also you can download Neo4G database depending on the version that you would like to whether it's Linux or Windows and the depending live backups and it would give you the information. I would scroll down and here I have new items as a graphical database tool. So so there's also one only used with databases from the same new 4 g version. So whatever new 4G you have, the respective version of Eclipse you would be using. So I would go here and then click the downloads version sorry downloads button and you will see all the download versions of Neo Eclipse that you have. To save time, I have already downloaded Neo Eclipse that is this. Okay, and now for a project I will go uh, because I've already opened Neo Eclipse. I will go to Eclipse, right click, new, create a new project that is a Java project, save next and then setting up new for j and then I would go to next I would uh, let everything remain to be default not change anything and then click finish and then it would change my perspective to java because I am in java w and I will say yes, yes. now to set up new for g first I will go to Neo4G, right click on it and extract it. After I extract it, I would check for the lib files because I would be uh, including them in my build part. So that would be this. And then I would go to lib. So these are the different jar files that are available for us for Neo4G. And then go to my Eclipse. Right click on the project, say build path, and then I would say configure the build path. Here are the options that I have. Click on the libraries button that's right here and say add library. 
because I would want to add it as a user library so that I can use in other projects as well. I would click user library and then click next and then click on the user libraries. I do not have anything right here, so I would say new. My name uh, is new for J. And then click OK. And then to add the jars, click on it and then add jars. I would go to the unzipped version that I have here. That is this. And I would go to lab. Select one, control A, which will select everything, and then click OK which would import all the jar files that are required and then I would click OK and then finish and then because it's added right here I would say OK so now I have to verify right click properties java build path I have neo4g and then click OK so now I have neo4g included in my project and then to view it I have not written any code yet because this is only uh, to set up and then new eclipse also I would extract it so new eclipse is used to view it uh, uh, this is my Windra ratio because it says the length of the file and all I would say close go to new eclipse it does say the folder structure is the same as eclipse almost same so click on new eclipse this is the new eclipse graphic graph database tool so here I can see the database graphs here. For sample, I will show you. So if I have any nodes or anything, it would represent right here because I do not have anything. To start or any connection, this would show up only if you have uh, already implemented some code. Like right click on here. Yeah, so let me start this. And then I would say right click start connection. Oh, this is starting this one. And I would say right click new connection, fill out the information that I have. That is testing, testing, testing the, and then URI would be the path where we have downloaded the new coach. That is users as downloads and then the new coach the root part that we need to select and then click OK and I would always say auto connect so that I do not have to connect it every each and every time that I would want to look at it auto connect I do not have any usernames or passwords set up for this I would say oh, OK so if there are anything that in that particular part that we have already deployed it would show you the graphs okay so this is how we set up uh, Neo4G into Eclipse right over here in the build path and then we install the new Eclipse to view the graphs. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Please follow my next tutorial for the sample Hello World program in Neo. Thank you. Bye.